renunciation or letting go is actually an act of kindness and generosity to yourself, to your partner, your family, and really everyone else around us. But it's hardly an easy feat, and it can be even harder once we become parents. And so you also might think about letting go as really just making space or even simplifying. So in a couple of moments, I'm going to walk you through a letting go visualization that's really specifically designed for us parents. But I first just want to explore three levels of attachment that actually teach us about three levels of letting go. Now, the first of those is letting go of stuff. So despite giving up so much when we become parents, we all know that, but we ironically enter this whole new world of stuff, piles of plastic and baby and child gadgets and gizmos, some of which are useful, some of which are completely useless, all of that kind of thing. The second aspect of renunciation is renouncing those unhealthy habits that we may have, even unconsciously, right? Our culture's addiction to just busyness, right? We suffer from this lack of free time. We all complain about it as adults, and yet even our kids are missing out on more and more free time to just play, explore, be in the world, get curious, and reflect. The third piece of renunciation or letting go can be discarding harmful views, harmful beliefs. So we inherit so much from our families of origin, right? We get these beautiful family heirlooms, some of us, or meaningful cultural traditions and some great values, but we also inherit some things that we don't want, don't need. Not just those inexplicable knickknacks, but also those unhelpful memories, annoying tics and habits that our parents have, and those beliefs that we probably would rather not actually pass on to our children and to the next generations. And so what I'd like to do is actually this letting go visualization. And that comes straight out of raising resilience. So what I'd like to do is ask you or invite you to find a comfortable posture, sitting up straight. And just allow yourself to take a few breaths, really feeling the sensations of the breath moving in, of the breath moving back out. And after a few moments, just beginning to reflect on any resentments, unhealthy beliefs that you carry around with you on a daily basis. You might want to choose a smaller belief, something that you feel like you could just set aside for the rest of the day. And ask yourself, what would it look like to not have to carry this resentment, this belief around with you? Just taking a few more breaths, allowing your body and mind to relax. And as you do so, you can actually visualize letting go of this belief, of this resentment. Just releasing it from your grasp, if only for right now. And if you struggle with letting go, you can remember that you can always just pick this belief back up again tomorrow or later. Continuing to breathe. Now I'll invite you to explore something else. Perhaps just review those stories that you tell yourself about parenting. When was that last time that you accused yourself of being a bad parent? How often have you leveled that accusation against yourself that you're just like your mother, just like your father? What would it be like to let go of those thoughts, those beliefs too? What would it feel like if you didn't require yourself to be so perfect? What if you could live each day as a good enough parent? And remembering that letting go is not an easy feat. So let's aim for the middle path again here. Just becoming aware of what you do and don't need in your life, whether it's stuff, whether it's habits, whether it's beliefs. Ajahn Chah, the monk, once said, being a monk means knowing that you need to let go, but not being able to 90% of the time. 
<laughs> Sound familiar, parent friends? Meanwhile, another friend of mine just proclaimed that parenting is just one lifelong process of letting go. And when the letting go gets tough, we can remember the wise words of Joseph Goldstein, who tells us, you don't have to let go, you just have to not hold on. <laughs>